This morning I am going on a balloon chase and this is my chase car. It's a RAV4 and it's been kitted out with a whole bunch of extra bits and pieces to make uh, balloon telemetry reception much much easier. So just like many amateur radio operators cars it has lots of antennas. I've got my general 2 meter and 70 centimeter comms. I've got a 3G antenna which is currently folded down at the moment. That's so I can get out of my driveway. And on the front, I have two mounting points for um, telemetry reception. Both of these mounting points have preamplifiers beneath them. Uh, and I can switch between the two antennas from inside the car. On the right hand side, I've got an omnidirectional antenna, which is used when whatever I'm tracking is at a low elevation or is far away. On the left hand side, I've got a mounting point for an antenna that looks like this. This is a turnstile. This has a, has a roughly uh, hemispherical radiation pattern and it works best when the thing you're tracking is pretty much directly above you. And this just mounts on the, on the um, car using a couple of um, wing nuts and connects onto the antenna connector there. So it isn't always on the car. I can switch between these two antennas using this RF relay down here and the preamplifiers are powered with this bias T. Uh, the output from the antennas is split uh, four ways, two of them going to permanently mounted SDRs and two of the outputs are spares for when I might have passengers wanting to play around with some radio gear. Uh, one of the SDRs, just hidden right down the bottom there, is an RTL SDR V3 that goes into a Raspberry Pi, which is inside this metal box here, um, repurposed uh, from a previous life. Uh, that particular Raspberry Pi runs Radio Sonde Auto RX and it also runs Chase Mapper, uh, which is my mapping software for these balloon chases. I've also got an Intel NUC, um, which I haven't actually used for a while. This is used generally for things like um, decoding Horus binary telemetry or decoding RITI, uh, where I want a bit of a more of a user interface going on to make that work. So let's have a look at um, the driver's seat. On the tablet, I have the mapping display. This shows where the balloon is, where I am, and um, also the predicted flight path of the balloon, which in this case is gonna land somewhere near Springton, or possibly Kyneton, something somewhere in that kind of area. And there's also someone else out chasing as well, VK5ST, Steve. Uh, over on the left, I've got my control panel uh, for all the gear in the back of the car. Uh, these switches uh, energize relays in the back of the car and let me turn on and off uh, various things. So I can turn on and off the 3G modem, the Raspberry Pi, uh, the preamplifiers on the roof, and I can also switch between the two different antennas using this switch here. So pretty soon I'll be heading off to go and recover, hopefully, this radio sonde, and um, wish me luck.